Hi friends, I'm Mansur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about how to identify database bottlenecks with performance monitor counters. Performance monitor uh, is a free tool provided by Microsoft Windows and is very useful to analyze real-time and historical performance information of your database servers and Windows servers. So if you don't have third-party tool and you want to monitor performance of CPU, disk, memory or database server then this is one of the best tool for you because it is uh, available absolutely free and e easy to access as it comes in bundle with your Microsoft Windows. So to access performance monitor you can navigate to control panel. I'll just show you. You can go to control panel then click on administrative tools. Okay. In administrative tools, uh, you have a performance monitor. Double click on it, and it will open your performance monitor. Just click on left side performance monitor, okay, and it will start. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, go to start menu, search box, and type performmon.exe and it will open this performance monitor so in this performance monitor we can set performance counters to monitor our data, uh, database bottlenecks okay so we'll see how we can add a uh, performance monitor counters for cpu disk memory or database server so in this you have a uh, first option which is enabled right now okay we have current activity then you have uh, this option right now I'm showing which I'm going to use it here okay you can change the graph line histogram bar or report so currently this is line graph is active you can click on histogram bar okay by default this processor uh, time counter if percentage processor time counter is added okay so this is showing uh, your uh, CPU then you have a report your processor information currently okay in a report view so now uh, what you can do you can uh, delete uh, you can add the counters or delete the counters on this window okay what you have to do you can click on this to add the counter or you can uh, select this I'll add this and select this to delete the counter okay so right click on it you'll get add counters save setting as and all these details okay if you want to uh, save the image of your uh, all the counter details you can save image also so I'll uh, try to add some counters here okay you can click on add counters or right click on add counters details this add counter window will pop up now you have to uh, select uh, your computer okay I'll select my computer my system you can select your server name then you have all the counter list available if you have a different instance installed on your system then it will show you all the instance also okay so for example this is SQL2 instance and this is default instance okay so what we'll do we'll try to add some counters okay so I'll go to for example uh, logical read I'll select logical disk then average disk per read okay then you can see uh, instance of selected object it will come you can select total 
and if you want to see exactly what is the definition uh, what this counter does you can click on show description average disk sec per read average disk sec per read is the average time in seconds of a read of data from the disk you can click on add button then you have uh, other counters I'll take average disk sec per write okay you can take other counters also so you have a disk transfer per sec disk transfer per second is the rate of read and write operation on the disk okay now we'll select some uh, memory counters okay you have available bytes you can read this description available bytes is the amount of physical memory in bytes immediately available for allocation to a processor or uh, for system use it is equal to the sum of memory assigned to the standby or cast uh, free and zero page lists I'll just add it then I'll take pages per second you can read the uh, description here pages per second is the rate at which pages are read from a written to disk to resolve hard page uh, faults this counter is a primary indicator of the kinds of uh, faults that cause system wide delays so you can read a uh, description for from here I'll add the counter then I'll add some SQL server counters I'll just scroll down to SQL Server. You have different options SQL Server database mirroring counter, SQL Server database counter, and all this. So I'll go to SQL Server Buffer Manager. I'll take a uh, buffer cache hit ratio percentage of pages that were found in the buffer flow buffer pool without having to incur a read from disk I'll just add it then I'll take page life expectancy number of seconds a page will stay in buffer pool without references I'll add it then I'll take some lock counters SQL Server locks lock lock weights per second number of lock requests that could not be satisfied immediately and require the caller to wait before being granted the lock I'll add it number of deadlocks per second okay and as per your requirement you can add more counters to monitor it I'll just click on it okay now you can see you have uh, all these counters in enabled and it is running so you can monitor your uh, percentage processor time if it is exist, uh, exceeding okay and uh, you have uh, memory counters you have logical read and you have a SQL Server buffer manager SQL Server logs if you want to add a stat in the SQL Server database statistics you can add here okay so what you can do if you want to delete it you can delete the same just select it and delete it if you want to monitor your uh, database particular database you can also go you can go to uh, add counters and 
at particular database also okay so in this manner you can uh, monitor your uh, database and monitor your uh, server okay if you like my video you can uh, subscribe to my channel okay you can also go to my website sqlserverlog.com i have written a huge uh, a big uh, article on this okay you can go through it i have given some counter details buffer cache hit ratio page life expectancy and all these counters here okay and you can subscribe to uh, my newsletter and uh, join me on facebook if you have any query you can uh, reply to me okay and in this uh, performance monitor you can switch here okay control g you can just click on it and you have all these details uh, you have feature to change all these colors for particular counters okay if you click on it it will come uh, like this uh, this is histogram bar this is available bytes these are pages per second and all these details are available so as per your requirement as per your uh, feasibility you can choose your graph okay and if you want to save image you can click on save image as and save uh, to your disk you can save the settings if you want to see the properties you can go to see uh, properties and uh, you can add or remove the same data graph appearance okay in general all these uh, components are available here okay thank you